the effect that AWS has had is there's so much automation and the software and the hardware and the actual operations are all tied together with the AWS package means we don't have to focus on that. We can actually focus on building stuff and getting it out there to the customer as fast as possible. My name is Ash Creek. I'm the CTO of iFlix. We're a video on demand service provider in the Southeast Asian region. iFlix provides uh, TV and movies over the internet to people in Malaysia and the Philippines and Thailand. And we are expanding throughout Southeast Asia. So we started in September last year and we had about three or four people at the time when I joined and we are now 150 people or thereabouts. We could not have built this service as it is today without actually choosing a cloud platform. So cloud we knew was something which we had to get into at the start. If you don't have a cloud provider, the traditional co-located model is that you have to have enough hardware which is going to be able to handle your peak load, which means you've got a lot of hardware which is sitting there and trying to forecast that is a very difficult thing. I, I knew AWS very well from previous projects, been using the service since 2006 and enjoyed the, the services that are provided. So beyond just the actual compute and storage and all the normal things you get from an infrastructure provider. So between September last year and when we launched in May this year, we've actually built an entire service and a company together, which we couldn't have done without AWS actually providing a lot of the infrastructure and services which consist of the application we deliver to customers. We now have close to half a million activated accounts. We're able to deliver things, new features in a week, which probably would have otherwise required substantial overhead to build, which would potentially take six months to do, depending on what type of function it is that we're trying to build. That's a huge advantage for us compared to people who are not adopting that approach. We use many of the AWS services and we probably use over half of the services which are available to us. We're looking for services which they can provide which save our time in building applications, things like CloudFront and S3 and Kinesis, Lambda, API Gateway, all those things which, which would otherwise have to be built by us. We can actually leverage someone who's done it before on a mature platform with all the hardware and operations and automation taken care of for us. We use things like Kinesis which we take analytics from everywhere pretty much and, and push that through Kinesis and AWS converts the peak load to average load so it makes our architectural job on the other side so much easier to actually take all those analytics and put them somewhere so we can look at some nice graphs and see how things are going. At iFlix one of our biggest things that we, we want to push as hard as possible because that's where we see our competitive advantage is speed to market. So in order for us to get speed to market we want to operate as lean and mean as possible and we do that through AWS services, as well as open source products, we try and code the minimum amount which connects all the dots and delivers that service using components which are like Lego bricks, essentially. With only around 30 development staff, we are able to get a product launched and five months later have a 450,000 accounts already running and people using that service. That could not have been possible without having the services of AWS.